Hi, this is Debbie Boyer, and in this video segment, we're going to talk about a great, fun app called Charades. And you can find Charades Kids in the iTunes Store or Charades, and they're both very, very similar. There's just different categories from which to choose. So we're going to go ahead and open up Charades for Kids, and it's going to allow us to have a quick play. And you're going to see that there's all kinds of different categories. And we it's a free app, so sometimes you'll get some ads. So we're going to close that out. But you'll see there's all kinds of different categories to choose from. I'm going to come in and just choose the Disney characters. And when I do, I'm going to click on it. And it's going to ask me if I want to play. And I'm going to click on play. And then it says, put this on your forehead. Get ready, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's going to give me the first character. Now, I'm going to hold the iPad on my forehead. My partner is going to give me clues. And when I guess and I get it right, he's going to say right. And I'm going to tilt the iPad slightly forward. And it's going to say correct. Then it's going to give me the next Disney character. He's going to give me clues. I'm not being able to see what's on my forehead. And then when I get it right, I'm going to tilt it forward. And it's going to say correct. Now, if he gives me one and I just can't figure it out, and I might want to say pass, pass, because I'm going to go on to the next one, I tilt it backwards, and it tells me pass. So it's just a fun way to, to play charades, either with um, acting it out or giving definitions. I'm going to come back. And one of the great things that I love about it is that there's a place for the classroom and for the teacher or the student to create their own words. So I'm going to come down to Custom. And I can see that I have Add a New Deck. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that plus sign. And it's going to ask me to enter the deck name. And in this one, it might be Plant Parts. And I'm going to close down that keyboard down in the bottom right-hand corner so that I can see it. And I've got plant parts, and I'm going to add it. Now, when I get ready, I'm going to click on plant parts. And I could play the game, but I don't have any words in there. So I'm going to come in and add the cards. And I might put leaves and stem and root. And I could put all of our vocabulary words in here and add them. And you can see as I scroll down that I have several uh, to choose from there. When I'm ready and finished, I'm going to go back in the top left-hand corner. And then I can see that I've created a science one of my own, and I've created plant parts. Now, there might be a limit to how many uh, card decks you can create. So if we need to, we can click on the science one. And you can see the red trash can. We're going to delete that one. But we're going to go into plant parts, and we're going to click on play. It says to place it on your forehead. Get ready, five, four, three, two, one. It's going to give me the first word, and I will have it. My partner might have it on on his forehead, and I'm going to say these are green things on it. And so we could give each other hints, or we could act it out and practice our vocabulary. We all know that vocabulary is a huge part of learning. And so anytime we can get kids interacting and playing games with vocabulary, we're just going to all benefit. So I'm going to come back to back. I'm ready to go again. And we could just keep adding our vocabulary words. Teachers can add the words, or the students could even do them yourself. It's individual on each iPad. Hope you have a great time with it. I'm anxious to see uh, what you think and how it works for you. So share out and let me know. Thanks.